Welcome builders and AI explorers. Today we're covering top trending and open source GitHub projects this week. Part 1. Packed with tools you can actually use in real workflows. You'll learn how developers are improving AI agents, security, automation, and creative pipelines with smart open source ideas. Stay till the end to spot projects worth starring and trying today. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, call me plugin for Claude Code to call you. Here's a quirky twist on notifications for long AI tasks. Call me is a minimal open source plugin that lets Claude Code literally call your phone when a task finishes or needs attention, turning passive waiting into a real world alert. It's built as an add-on for the Claude ecosystem, and is designed to be simple and focused. It adds a bridge between an AI run and your phone, so you can start a long agentic workflow, step away, and get notified without refreshing UIs, or repeatedly checking terminals. This matters right now because many AI tasks, like training, crawling, or complex agent runs, can take time, and a direct call keeps you in control without constant monitoring. It's minimal by design and integrates with your workflow, so you can avoid context switch fatigue. Built for developers and tinkerers using Claude code, give it a try and feel how hands-off monitoring becomes practical and even a little fun. Project number two, Smog. Twitter bookmark archiver and organizer. Imagine a dragon that turns your saved social content into a rich personal knowledge base. Smog is an open source tool that automatically fetches your Twitter sash bookmarks and likes, expands links, analyzes content with Claude code, categorizes tweets and linked articles, and saves them as organized markdown files. It walks through setup with tools like the Bird CLI for accessing Twitter session data, then runs fetch and process jobs to pull text and metadata, turning ephemeral bookmarks into a searchable archive you control. The design helps you preserve valuable links, code snippets or research buried in bookmarks, and gives you structured context rather than letting them linger in a social feed. Built for writers, researchers, and long-term thinkers who value owning and categorizing their digital references, try it today and watch your scattered bookmarks become a curated knowledge repository. Project number three, Memvid, AI agent memory layer with single file storage. Let's dive into a fresh approach to AI memory. Memvid is an open source Rust-based memory layer for AI agents that replaces complex retrieval augmented generation RAG stacks with a single portable file storing embeddings, metadata, and index structures. Instead of spinning up vector databases or external search stacks, Memvid organizes memory in an append-only file that agents can read in milliseconds, giving them both instant retrieval and long-term memory without external infrastructure. The timeline-style file format makes memory versioned, crash safe and shareable across systems, while delivering fast local semantic search. This matters because it dramatically cuts down the cost and complexity of giving agents persistent memory, especially for offline or edge applications where spinning up services isn't feasible. Built for AI developers and systems builders who want lightweight, portable, and self-contained memory, explore it once and feel how serverless AI memory simplifies workflows. Project number four, roll up and away. Automated GitHub Reporting Assistant. Here's something that turns routine reporting into automation. Rollup and Away is an open source tool by GitHub that acts as a reporting assistant pulling data from issues, discussions, and project views to generate draft reports with templates and optional AI summaries. Written in TypeScript, it works in GitHub Actions workflows or via CLI, letting project managers and team leads reduce repetitive status updates while keeping human review as part of the loop. The templates and integrations make it easy to define the structure of what you want to report, and the AI summary hooks offer context-aware descriptions of activity. This matters because many teams spend too much time copying and pasting progress into updates, and Rollup and Away helps automate the repetitive parts while preserving judgment where it counts. Built for teams who want less manual reporting overhead, try it and see how much smoother your status cycles run. Project number five, system prompts and models of AI tools. AI prompts and models collection. Here's something massive and community-driven. System prompts and models of AI tools is a huge collection of system prompts and AI model examples pulled from a wide range of tools like Claude Code, Cursor, CodeBuddy, Perplexity, and more. It's an open source repository licensed under GPL 3.0 and serves as a reference and inspiration for AI engineers looking to understand how different models behave or how specific prompt structures can influence outcomes. 
Contributors gather internal prompt designs, example usages, and structured prompt guides that developers can study or adapt for their own agents and workflows. Because AI prompt engineering constantly evolves, this collection helps developers cut down experimentation time and avoid reinventing the wheel. Built for engineers and researchers who want to learn from collective patterns and effective prompt designs, explore it once and feel how it accelerates your AI work. Project number six, Tail Snitch. Security Auditor for TailScale Networks Here's something that feels essential if you use TailScale at scale. TailSnitch is an open-source security auditor for TailScale configurations that helps teams find misconfigurations, overly permissive access rules, and violations of security best practices in their TailNet setups. Instead of manually combing through ACLs and access policies, TailSnitch scans your whole network against 50-plus automated checks and produces clear feedback so you can see which parts of your configuration might accidentally expose services or weaken controls. It's written in Go and runs from the CLI, with options to filter by severity, output JSON for automation, and even integrate into CI Sci CD pipelines, so regressions are caught early. You can authenticate via OAuth or API key, inspect findings interactively, and even export evidence for compliance audits, like SOC2. This matters right now, because many teams rely on TailScale to connect distributed infrastructure, and hidden ACL gaps can lead to unintended exposure or privilege escalations. Built for security engineers and operations teams who want confidence in their overlay network posture, give it a try and see how quickly it strengthens your TailScale security. Project number seven, dots, macOS dot files for personal setup. Let's dive into a very personal kind of project. Dots is an open source dot files repo containing configuration files for macOS that helps streamline and customize a developer's environment. Inside you'll find profiles for shells, editors, key bindings, window managers, and any other command line tools the owner prefers. All versions so you can replicate the same setup on multiple machines or after fresh installs. It's built simply as a Git repo with modular configuration snippets that link into your home directory when initialized, turning routine setup into a one-step process. This matters because spending minutes hunting for the right aliases, themes, or prompt settings adds up over time, and having a curated, repeatable environment means faster productivity on any Mac you use. Built for engineers and power users who want their tools just right every time, explore it once and feel how smooth onboarding your workspace becomes. Project number eight, Shadow Rocket AD Block Rules Forever. Ad blocking rules for Shadow Rocket. Imagine turning your iOS or proxy client into a powerful ad blocker with minimal fuss. Shadow Rocket AD Block Rules Forever is an open source rule set for the Shadow Rocket proxy tool that focuses on strong ad filtering and flexible traffic handling. Rather than an application itself, this repository provides config files you can download and apply in Shadow Rocket to block ads, trackers, and unwanted domains, with options for blacklist, whitelist, and mixed policies. The rules are rebuilt daily, so they stay fresh against new ad domains and evolving network behavior, and they support scenarios like straight ad blocking or combined proxy slash ad block strategies for different regions. This matters for users who want a cleaner, privacy-focused browsing experience in apps and system traffic without subscribing to paid lists. Built for privacy-minded mobile users and anyone using Shadow Rocket, try it and see how much cleaner your internet feels. Project number nine, Ralph. Autonomous AI Agent Loop Here's something for AI automation fans. Ralph is an open-source looping AI agent that repeatedly runs another agent called AMP until all specified PRD product requirement document items are complete. Instead of one-shot prompts, Ralph manages a task loop where it feeds results back into AMP, essentially closing the loop on multi-stage work and letting the system work through a sequence of goals. It's written to handle tasks like planning, refinement, and execution in stages rather than in a single pass, giving a more continuous, evolving workflow. This matters for builders of agent pipelines who want to automate complex workflows instead of handling each step manually, and it lets developers prototype multi-turn logic without reinventing the orchestration each time. Built for developers experimenting with agentic systems, give it a try and see how it smooths iterative task automation. Project number 10, 
LTX2 Audio Video Generative Model Toolkit Let's dive into a toolkit that bridges creative AI with practical training. LTX2 is the official Python package for working with the LTX2 Audio Video Generative Model, offering training support, inference APIs, and support for LoRa fine-tuning, so creators can adapt the model to their own styles or datasets. It wraps core generative engines in a user-friendly Python layer and provides CLI tools, config schemas, and training loops that are structured for reproducible results. This matters because generative audio and video models can require complex setup and tuning, and having an officially maintained package with LoRa support lowers the barrier for artists, researchers, and developers to build custom generative workflows. Built for creators and ML engineers who want control over both inference and training trajectories, explore it once and watch how quickly creative generation becomes part of your workflow. Thanks for watching and being part of the community. If this helped you, like the video, subscribe and comment which repo you'd try first. Don't forget to start the projects and check the demos linked in the description. Share your suggestions so we can cover them in next project.